I was thinking lately, friends, nobody really talks about lifestyle on its own. You know, like growing up, no one was ever like, what type of lifestyle do you want to live? What type of life do you want to have? Mainly they asked you, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? How do you want to make money? What kind of career do you want to have? These are the questions they asked you. Almost nobody asked you what type of life you would love to live. And it's because of this that we grow up, a lot of us, even those of us who aren't like money hungry or very ambitious, but you grow up just kind of worrying about jobs. You know, most of your decisions you make after you turn 16, you know what I mean, are based around how do I get a good job so I can make a lot of money and support myself and or my family. But nowhere in that equation do we talk about like lifestyle. And if someone does talk about things they want to do with their life, they're typically the same cookie cutter lifestyle that like everyone else who is is making the amount of money they're trying to make is living as well. Oh, I want to, you know, get a good job in this industry and then like live here and drive this car and blah, 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 and vacation here. Very cookie cutter. Because we don't spend a lot of time thinking about lifestyle or how we want to live our life. So we spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to make the money. And, and we use different words. We talk about success. We talk about, you know, career. We talk about, you know, all achievements. But it's really making lots of money. If you really think about it. Because all that stuff, for most people, if you offered them, like, success in a career and, like, all these accolades but said they were going to be broke, they'd be like, never mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, what they're, we're really chasing is, like, money. And then once we get the money, it's kind of like, oh, now let me, like, figure out how I'm going to live. I think it should be the other way around. I think we should figure out and spend all our time deciding what type of life we want to live, what type of lifestyle we want to have. That should be our main goal from elementary school, middle school, high school. What do I want to do when I grow up? And not like what kind of job do I want to have? What do I want to do? What do I want my life to look like? Where do I want to live? What kind of hobbies and passions am I going to pursue? And then, once we know that, all we have to do is FYL, and that's fund your lifestyle. That's all we gotta do. The, the, the major work, the biggest piece of the pie is figuring out the lifestyle. The small part should be, how do I fund it? This is what I want my life to look like. How much money do I need? Because we live in a world where, you know, you gotta have some type of income, you gotta have some type of money. How, do, how much money do I need to fund that lifestyle? And I honestly think for most of us, if, we, if we're real with ourselves and we really go after the lifestyle and the passions and the hobbies we really want, I don't think it takes that much money. It might take less money than like our lifestyle now takes. I definitely think it takes less money than what most people look up to as like the ideal life, you know? I do realize it is getting more expensive to live, especially in countries like the United States. But a lot of people want tons of money and they want like th th this, this like super high class life just because that's what they've been told success is. So people think they need to be a millionaire. People, you know, oh, I want, I want a tens of millions of dollars. I want to be a billionaire, all this type of stuff because people have told them that's what they need. But I think a lot of those people would be a lot happier with a lot less flashy, showy, expensive lifestyle where they got to do what they love to do. I mean, even when you look at millionaires and billionaires, you do realize that like most of them have these little quirky hobbies they do that don't take that much money or doesn't need to take that much money. You know, think about it. 
it, when, when you when you get past the boats and the in the vacation houses and the flexing and the stunning and all that stuff pretty much everybody billionaires millionaires all of us, whoever we have just little bitty quirky hobbies and passions we like to do that you can do it on a smaller level you can do it on a inexpensive level you can find a way to fund a lifestyle that allows you to do the things you love to do and isn't super pricey. And the reason why that's important is because then we don't have to spend all of our lives like working. We, and then we'll have more free time to like live our life. So many of us, because we start out with the ideal of, oh, I need to achieve this. I need to be making this much money we fall into a trap where 10 years later, we're still chasing making that amount of money, but we start acquiring things and getting all these extra possessions and getting into all this debt and doing all this stuff based on a lifestyle that like somebody else told us we needed to live. Oh, hold on, let me, let me readjust here, folks. Woo, woo, those knees. <laughs> Well, the knees was, I was like, I, I can squat this whole video. The knees said otherwise. The knees says you, you gonna have to switch every, every six minutes. But I feel like we, we spend our whole life chasing other people's ideals of what ideas of what the ideal lifestyle is. And then we fall prey to debt and, 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 you know, just, excess expenses and bills and things because we're trying to live this lifestyle we don't even want whereas if we started out going after the lifestyle we want it wouldn't take near as much money or debt or all that to fund it that's just something I've, I've just been thinking about is like how are we spending our whole lives working and getting deeper and deeper in debt and we're not living lives we want we like I mean, if you're going to be in debt and underwater and broke and still working 70 hours a week, you might as well be like living the life you want, right? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, no. And I do realize, I want to say right now, before someone says in the comments, I do understand it is getting more expensive to live, inflation, things are going up right now. I get that. I get that. But I, I also get that a lot of the reasons we're in the situations we are in, which might have been more economically reasonable five years ago, is because, once again, like I said, we started out at 18, 17, 18, when we started working, going after something different, right? Going after a lifestyle that other people sold to us. And I do think it is possible to get back on track. Like, I think you can start at any time and be like, okay, even if I'm struggling right now because of things I've done, the economy, whatever, from this moment on, I'm going to figure out how I really want to live my life, the things I really need in my life, the people I really need in my life, how I want my life to look. And I'm going to start working on funding that, figuring out how much money it takes and funding that. But I also think that for the kids out there, the young people out there, hopefully they get this message and realize you don't have to get into like major student loan debt or, you know, uh, finance a, a fancy automobile or do all this other stuff people do. Just to try to look successful or try to look like you're making it in life if that's not the life you want. And here's another thing, too, like I feel like when you're funding your lifestyle, if that's the goal, you will find things, I would imagine most of the time, you will find ways to make money that are kind of directly tied to or indirectly tied to what you want to do anyway. For example, once I finally figured out I wanted to travel, I don't think it's any surprise that when I work, I usually work in travel destinations. You know, when I work, I'm usually working, you know, in a national park, close to a national park, ski resort, 
Alaska. You know what I mean? And I and I think that's just what like naturally happens. If you want to like ski all day long and like be a beach bum, you're probably going to end up finding a job or a way to fund your lifestyle that if you want to surf, excuse me, if you want to surf all day and be a beach bum, you're probably going to find a job on the beach, maybe be a surf instructor. If you want to be a ski bum, you'll probably end up working at a ski resort. See how this all works out? That's why when people are like, oh, Tim, you're not being realistic. Like, you, some of us have to work these crappy jobs we hate. I don't know if that's true. I, and even if it is true, it doesn't have to be true for you. Sorry for the people who end up working the crappy jobs. But, like, I'm not going to live my life just, just being resigned to doing things I don't want to do because somebody's got to do it. <laughs> no. No. I think when we sit down and, like, figure out our lives, FYL, figure out your life. And then we fund our life, FYL, fund your life. I think it all becomes one situation. Instead of it being, oh, work is this, and I really hate it, and I really don't like it, and then later I get to like live my life on the weekends, hopefully, or but you know, it all becomes one situation. This is what I want to be doing with my life. Let me figure out a way to make enough money to do that, and hopefully figure out a way to do it in a manner that like goes along with what I'm trying to do. That's life. That's when it all starts coming together. That's when you go to work, don't even realize you're working some days. Because it's all part of a lifestyle that like you designed, that you've been planning on, that you want it, that you asked for, that you prayed for. You know? There will be struggles in life. There will be suffering in life, you know? Oh, hold on. One, one more. One more one more readjustment. There will. <laughs> There will be days in life that, 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 that aren't the best. But if your overall lifestyle is amazing and fulfilling and does something great for you and, 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 and brings meaning into your life and brings happiness and brings joy into your life, those bad days are eh, you know? In, instead of you thinking that life is always horrible and life is miserable and life is this and life is that and all this negativity that I understand why some people believe, you can be one of the people that like doesn't see it that way because it's not that way for you. You're living your life and you won't be burdened with the ideal of always needing to be like chasing more money. The, the, one of the saddest things that, that I would have never, I never knew about until I started making videos. Um, I was talking in a comment the other day and I was saying that like, you know, after 10 years on the internet and, you know, probably reading hundreds of thousands of comments. And when I wrote that, I was, I was in my bag writing, you know what I mean? I'm like 10 years on the internet, hundred thousand. And then I was like, wait a second, that's like true. <laughs> like it hit me. You know, sometimes the words be flowing. Uh, sometimes I have to check myself. I'll be like, Tim, is that really true? But that one, I'm like, I was flowing with the words. I'm like, wait a second. I probably have read hundreds of thousands of comments over the years. But some of the saddest ones is when I hear from people who will say they have decent amount of money saved up. I got 50 in the bank, Tim. I'm good. I got this much, blah, 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 blah. And some of them are low-key bragging. We'll let them brag. If you're doing, we'll let you brag. Low-key. But the sad part is when they're like, yeah, but I got 10 more years to work. You know what I mean? Or, or they just, I, I, I just can't allow myself to, to I, I can't allow myself to take a sabbatical. I'm not saying stop working, but I'm just saying like when I'm talking about, hey, take six months off, take a sabbatical, take more, take all your vacation time, that type of stuff. People will be like, ah, I just, I, I just feel like if I'm not working and I'm not continuing to stack up money, something bad is going to happen. That's sad because that is chasing money and making money being your life and you having like no time for living your life and your lifestyle. Classic example of that. And I think all of us fall somewhere on that spectrum. Maybe a lot of people aren't that extreme, but for a lot of people, yeah, we, we, we're, it's all about, you know, getting to the bag. And then if we got time left over, we enjoy life, but it's like, why not set up an enjoyable life and then just figure out how much of the bag you need to keep living it. And you can work into your lifestyle saving. You can work into your lifestyle investing, planning for the future. 
I, I think every so many years you got to, you know, revisit and be like, okay, is this the same lifestyle I still want? I know for me, every five years or so, I start to switch things up. I, I think I'm about to go through another switch up now. It's all kind of the same overarching lifestyle, but like every so often there's a change, you know? But so it doesn't have to be, oh, you decide one day and that's it. And it doesn't have to be just because like you're, you're, you're funding a lifestyle that may not be that expensive. It doesn't mean that you're not planning for the future. It doesn't mean you're not saving, you're not investing. It doesn't mean that like you're totally irresponsible. People like to think that if you're not living just that, that same lifestyle everybody's living and it's just money, 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 then you're being irresponsible. It's like, no, actually, actually sometimes living the way you really want to live ends up being cheaper and you end up being able to like save more money. Not to mention like if, if, if the lifestyle I live is it isn't crazy expensive because I it's not packed with all this stuff that society said I need or have to have or have to buy, then it'll be easier for me to fund that lifestyle well until my 60s, 70s and 80s. I'm not going to have to worry about all the stuff you have to worry about at that age because my life doesn't cost that much and it's not going to cost that much when I get older. We just got FYL, figure out our lifestyles, figure out your lifestyle and then find a way to fund your lifestyle. It's very simple. It's very simple, the concept. Now it will take work and especially in, in our world these days, um, you'll have to overcome some hurdles and, and people will look at you like you're crazy. But just imagine waking up, doing what you love to do, enjoying your life and knowing that it's not gonna take you working a very high paying, high stress job for 60 hours a week to fund it. You might be able to figure out a way to work part time to fund your lifestyle. You might be able to figure out a way to work a fun job. <laughs> we all have jobs we looked at and be like, man, that'd be fun. May not pay a lot, but you'd be like, man, it would be fun to, to, to work at the amusement park. That's one I've always wanted to work at like Bush Gardens run the rides, everybody on, go, stop, you know, anyway, may not pay that well, but hey, if you're someone who loves amusement parks and you, and you want to spend your life traveling around to amusement parks, you could, might figure out a way to work at them every summer and do it. You mean, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I'm getting very excited thinking about this, all the different things that like you could spend your life doing if you really want to do it. And like all the ways the different jobs or side hustles or we need to talk about, you know, businesses you could start that tie in with it. Infinite possibilities, endless possibilities.